Justin Verlander is on the mound for Houston in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, thanks, Matt. Justin Verlander, former Cy Young Award winner. He's done just about everything you could do as a starting pitcher. At one time, might have had the best and biggest arm in the game of baseball. Consistently 94 to 97 miles an hour. Really good overhand curveball. Has the slider, has the changeup. Usually you'll know if Justin Verlander is on early. If he gets through the first couple innings, one, two, three, he's going to be tough to beat. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Change up in for a strike. The windup and the 0 2 pitch. Smoke toward third. Bregman has it. Throw on to first, and one third baseman grounds out to the other, one away. So a moment now to take a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Detroit Tigers. Danny, any thoughts? Well, Matty, they got to love the production they're getting out of the leadoff spot right now. He's certainly a guy to watch out there in this lineup. Everything he does makes them click. When he's swinging the bat well, they just go. Next up for Detroit, Nicholas Castellanos. He'll get to take his first cuts here. He's ready. Here's the first offering. That's Good change up that time, but he wouldn't bite on it. The 1 0 is laid off for ball two. And set up working the plate is Matthew Ross as you see the rest of the umpiring crew there. Hey D. Rowe, this is a pitcher's best friend. Matthew Ross, very wide strike zone. Yeah, no excuses from the offense today. You know coming in when you see the lineup card and Matt Ross is behind the dish, you better be aggressive. Three and oh now. Three oh pitch. Finds the zone, strike one. Hey, that 3 0 pitch might have been important for him right there. Regroup, get his mechanics back under him, and drive something down through the strike zone. Wouldn't throw the exact same pitch right here. Might want to cheat towards one of the corners. Little dribbler down the line. That goes foul. Two strikes on him now. Verlander deals the 3 2. Again, he sends it out of play. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. One thing to know is not all strikeouts are created equal. Right there, he goes down on strikes, but he really made that guy on the mound work for it. And when you're doing that in the first inning, it can have an effect on how deep he's going to be able to go into this start. There's a big difference between that and going down on three or four pitches. Digging in the switch hitter, Nico Goodrum. He'll swing it from the left side right here. Two out, nobody on. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. There's a swing and he sends the ball high in the air into left field. And that is just shy of the box seats off the top of the wall. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. That's a pitch he'll look back on and relive tonight when he's lying in bed. 
a pitch away from posting a zero in the first, and he makes a big mistake, and he pays the price. So now he's got to work on leaving him out there at second base. Digging into the batter's box next is John Hicks. As he'll take a look at ball one. The 1 0 misses for the second ball. Two tough sliders right there, but he was able to lay off them. Might have bought himself a fastball in this situation. Two well count the pitch is a heater in there for a strike. Well that's a tough pitch to take right there right down the middle. But I think that happens when you're facing a good pitcher like this guy. The last thing you're expecting is one right down the pipe. And unfortunately he let that one go and he'd like to have that pitch back to take a good swing at that one. Got him to go after a bad one there and it evens the count at two and two. These are the moments right here. You got a good pitcher on the mound. You don't know if these opportunities are going to present themselves throughout the course of the game. You have to capitalize in this situation. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Danger averted following the two-out double. It's on to the bottom of the first. No score on the show. Francisco Liriano gets the starting nod for the Tigers in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, we're getting a chance to watch a guy that has 99 career losses. The one thing I'm certain that he doesn't want to do is pick up career loss number 100 in this one here today. So it's going to be awfully important. One, that his team scores him some runs. And two, he shuts down the opponent early. Settling in now, George Springer. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. A changeup over the inside corner. Hey, that's okay. obviously the game plan against this guy. Bury it in on his hands. He finds himself down 0-2 now. He doesn't know if he's coming back in there or going breaking stuff down the way. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. And a neck-high fastball that time. Hard hit ball to second. Reined in. And that's out number one. Time now for a quick look at the hometown Astros starting lineup. Mark DeRosa, tell us about this lineup in a daytime home contest. Matty, you focus on this lineup. The middle of the order jumps out at you because of the big power. But my focus today is on the table setters. The guys that set the tone. They have to be willing to work the count and find ways to get on base and create a little bit of havoc on the defense. And that'll bring up the former first rounder Alex Bregman. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Swing and a liner. And that gets down and we'll see if that's extra bases. Running hard. He's digging for second. And he's not stopping. He wants three. And it's in time as he's out at third as the good relay gets him. Oh, you hate to see guys run into outs, especially when it's because of an unnecessary risk. He had two all the way, and he clearly should have just been happy with that. So bases are empty here with two gone, and striding in the speedy second baseman, Jose Altuve.
Here comes the first pitch. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. This offense has been warned if they didn't know already now they do know he's got his a game fastball with him today. The one one home. High in the air out to center field. Jones has a play. And that ends the inning. One two three go the Astros. Still no score. Next for the Tigers, Victor Martinez. He'll be the one to greet Justin Verlander to start the inning. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0 1. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Gonzalez with a great slide. He's out. And what a vital play there, preventing the leadoff man from getting aboard. So striding forward now, Mikey Mata, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. High in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. And he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Just getting blown away so far. No reason to throw anything else to speed up his bat. Just stay right there. Here's Verlander now on 0 and 2. A ball and two strikes. Looked like he was trying to work in a front door curveball there, but it seemed like it popped out of his hand a little early, causing it to miss inside. No score here as we play inning number two. Wing and a miss he struck him out and it's two up two down to start the second good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah Matt that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count you could really force hitters to expand their zone and protect and when they're in that mode getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Stepping in now James McCann. Nope, and that misses ball. ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. This is line to left. Kemp is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Nothing doing against Verlander that time around. Still nothing nothing. Now the Cuban import Yuli Gurriel is set to lead off the home half of the second. First pitch of the at bat. First pitch is a fastball inside, one and zero. in the air down the line in left and that will end up a foul ball the one one waves and misses for strike number two all right let's take a step back right here he's down one two three fastballs in a row there is no way he's throwing them fourth.
And he fouls this one off. Hey, I don't mind you throwing a fastball in this situation, but I think if we're being honest with ourselves, that one caught a little bit too much of the plate. Heading out towards shallow right. In there, a base hit. So the Astros put a man aboard to get the inning underway. Take a look at this right here. He didn't get jumpy and try and pull it down the left field line. Stayed in there, fought hard, and grinded out a nice knock the other way. Stepping in is Josh Reddick. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. Oh. Rounded down the third baseline, but a foul ball, 1-1. One and one. He was able to foul that one off, but you could tell he was definitely late. That breaking ball, the pitch before that heater right there, definitely threw his timing off. Reddick behind the ball in two strikes. Guriel on at first, nobody out. A fastball down near the shoe tops. Reddick waiting, and now the pitch. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Goodrum ranging into shallow right. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. All right, guys, here's a defensive alignment for the Detroit Tigers. And this team, they're not going to be moving around as much as some of the new age teams. The shifting and moving the third baseman over second base and the right fielder to play third base. This is going to be your stationary team trusting pitchers to execute pitches. Evan Gaddis now standing in. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Hey. Tough slider that just catches the corner for a strike. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. That pitch right there, he's trying to keep him from getting his arms extended. If it's out over the plate more, he can obviously do a lot of damage with it. The 1 1 home. Ripped down the first base line. And he whips on it as this ball's right under his glove. And he'll move up to third now. Runners at the corners here with one away. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball, stay square as long as possible, and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. Here's Marwin Gonzalez now. As the first pitch here is a bit high, it's ball one. And he's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. And that pitch catches the inside corner. A bouncer up the middle. A jumping catch at second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Your basic 6 4 3 will get him out of danger. Two complete. Still scoreless here on the show. And welcome back to Minute Maid Park, a smack dab in the middle of downtown Houston. At the plate, number 60. He readies for his first plate appearance. 
number 60. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Here's a strike. The wind up and the 0 1. Missed with a slider. And here's a ball hit in the air. Reddick on the run, but no chance to run it down. It's a foul ball. The one two. Hit in the air down the right field line. On the move is Reddick. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Standing in, Jacoby Jones. First pitch on its way from Verlander. Called a strike on the outer half, 0-1. He looks really strong here early in this game, and that fastball is a good example. Put that thing in a great spot and right where he wanted it. Third inning, no score to this point. Lays off the slider, and it's 1-1. One and one. The 1-1 one, one home. High in the air out towards shallow right. Reddick has a read on it, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now batting, third baseman, Candelario. The next batter, Jamer Candelario. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Verlander gets the sign. Here comes the first pitch. Called strike over the outside corner. Two out, nobody on. In there, and it's 0-2 now. Unless you're willing to sell out and try and take one part of the field out of play and just work the ball up the middle the other way, it's extremely difficult when a guy's throwing this hard to stay back on a breaking ball. You either commit and be all in on a fastball or try and find a way to work the ball the other way to keep you back on the off speed. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three and the inning is over. Three up, three down for Detroit. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Next up for the Strohs, Max Stassi. As we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Max Stassi. First pitch of the at-bat. And a whiff at a good slider that time. Looking at a fastball for a strike on the corner. I love the fact that the hitter was able to foul that pitch away. I always thought with two strikes, you give the pitcher that inside part of the plate and you do your best to cover away. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two-seamer, and that's out number one. That's a pretty unique pitch sequence, guys. Usually, pitching is all about mixing pitches and location, but he threw that all out the window to get that strikeout. He offered the same pitch three times in a row, so I guess he sort of used that reverse psychology to outthink his opponent. Stepping in now, the speedy Tony Kemp, as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. And here's a fastball that's nowhere near the zone. It's 2-0 oh now. Yeah. Two 
balls and a strike. Started to go around, but he's able to check his swing for ball three. Wow, how about that? He was tempted to make a swing at that pitch right there. That was way out of the zone, but he just kept his hands back enough. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and it's full three and two. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one, so, so now we've got a battle on our hands. Fly ball out toward left center field. Number 60 calls for it. Two gone. Center fielder number four. George Springer. Ready for another chance. George Springer, second at bat now. He grounded out to start the home first. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hey. A high fastball is in there. Hey, two outs, nobody on, and a power hitter up. This is where, as a pitcher, you got to use the hitter's aggression against him. Get him to fish a little bit. Something a little more out of the zone than normal. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0-2. A wind-up and the 0-2 pitch. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Astros go down 1-2-3. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. Back now with Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, as it'll be Nicolas Castellanos to start out the inning. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning. Dan, does this continue or does somebody score here? Oh, you have to love it. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low scoring pitcher's duel for once. Count is even one and one to Nicholas Castellanos. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Popped him up. Stassi moving to his left. Looks it into his glove and there's one gone. Up next for the Tigers. Digging in to try it again, Nico Goodrum. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. First pitch of the at bat. Hit on the ground to short. Right to Gonzalez. Throw on to first, and Verlander's got it going here, two away. The first base, number 55. Digging into the batter's box next is John Hicks. He's 0 for 1 thus far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. That's the kind of pitch that reminds me of many reasons why I wasn't a very good hitter. This thing was inside and coming in hot, and he just gave a stone-cold take. I'm bailing out of the way if I'm in the box, no doubt about it. Two balls and a strike to the Tigers' first baseman. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Time for him to attack on the mound. He knows this team's struggling offensively. Don't mess around and try and nibble. 
be on the attack and let them beat you. And, ooh, might have thought it was high, but it's a strike three and two now. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Down in order go the Tigers. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Digging in for his second at bat, Alex Bregman. And recall he doubled his first time through, but was thrown out trying to stretch that into a triple. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Throw on to first in time, one away. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. So far, 0 for 1 with a fly out. First offering on its way. There's a fastball that just misses. Ball one. And that one just missed outside. Not the ideal spot to be right here. 2-0 and count on a real good hitter. Boy, you're going to have to make some really good pitches now. Two balls and a strike to Jose Altuve. Love the pitch call there. 2-0. You know the guy's geared up for a fastball, and you drop a changeup in the zone. That's going to be a tough pitch to handle. Now the 2-1. Grounder down the line at third. But this will wind up a foul ball. 2-2. Two and two. Slow roller back to the mound. Throw on to first, two gone. First baseman, number 10, Gurriel. Riding in once again, Yuli Gurriel. He singled his last time up. First pitch on its way. And that misses for ball one. The 1-0 is a ball below the zone. High and deep to right center. Castellanos on the move. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And that one skips up over the wall for a ground rule double. There's a deep fly ball. Doesn't quite get out of the ballpark, but it hits in the right spot as it bounces off that hard warning track and over the wall for a ground rule double. Not sure if he had triple on his mind, but I doubt he'll complain too much about getting to coast into second base. Standing in now, Josh Reddick. And so take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. Reddick waiting, and now the pitch. Hit hard down the line, but a foul ball, one and one. He's set. Here comes the one-one. Grounded up the first baseline, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. A ball and two strikes. Here it is. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Broke out the sweeping slider right there and just missed off the edge. If he would have caught the corner right there, I think he's got a backwards K. No runs, four hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. So, he threw the slider darting away to him two times in a row. Now, I don't think he'll go for it again. I'm looking for something hard inside on this pitch. The 
2-2 one more time. This one's down to third. And that's through into left, a base hit. The throw to the plate. And not in time as he just crosses the plate in time. What a frustrating inning from a pitcher standpoint, Dero. You get the first two out of the inning, the next guy doubles, and then you give up a two-out base hit to drive in a run. Yeah, you want to talk about on the complete flip side, firing up an offense. You see your two boys go down, two quick outs. You mix in a gapper right there. Double finds himself on second base, and he's able to come through. Next guy's able to come through with a big two-out knock. Evan Gaddis is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Reddick leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. And he'll snap one over to first. And a dive, but he's back in. Now the one and one pick. Count is one and two now. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. Here's the switch hitting Victor Martinez. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. Altuve is under it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. A look at our line score here through the first four. And as we've mentioned, just one hit for these guys this afternoon. Next for the Tigers, Mikey Mata looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. First pitch on its way from Verlander. Strike one to start the at bat. Guriel trying to get there and foul. No runs, just one hit and no errors in the ball game for the Tigers. Fastball that time is nowhere close, and it's even at one and one. These guys have got to be frustrated as an offensive unit so far in this one. They haven't been able to crack the code on their opponent, but it's not like they're getting great pitch to hit either. This starter has kept the ball on the corners of the zone all game long. From the windup, the one-one pitch. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Oh, he just threw that fastball by him. And this is swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the fifth. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. In now, James McCann, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. Verlander into his motion, coming at him with the 0-1. There's a knee-high pitch that catches the zone. This guy's pitching really well in this one so far. You could just see he's awful confident attacking the strike zone, and when he comes off the mound at the end of the inning, looks like he stepped in a big old bucket of sassy. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Three up, three down for Detroit. They trail this one, one to nothing. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Marwin Gonzalez. Leading up for the Astros, the shortstop, Marwin Gonzalez. 
First pitch of the at bat. And a changeup here misses off the corner to start him out. It's ball one. Some action now in the Tigers' bullpen as they'll get a left-hander and a right-hander up the throw. The 1-0. Skied into straightaway right. Castellanos is there. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Now batting, catcher. Max Stassi. Striding in for Houston, Max Stassi. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Here comes the first pitch. Zero. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. I don't mind the aggressiveness right there. He was definitely trying to get the head to a fastball. He pulled the string on that one. He's going to have to stay back a little bit longer. Now the pitch. Nope. And a fastball just a bit up. Bases are empty, one man out. On the ground to the left side. Throw gets him, two down. Now batting, left fielder, Tony. Now with the play, Tony Kemp flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. First pitch on its way. Tries to catch him napping, but he missed the bunt attempt. Strike one. Tried to drag but himself on there. Didn't work, and he probably won't try it for a second time, but the defense still has to respect it. Now a late bunt attempt here, but he misses strike two. Two out, nobody on. Chopped weakly to the left. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Looks like Liriano's got it working now. His club trails 1-0. Next up for Detroit, number 60. will start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non-existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they faced other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. He's just ringing up strikeouts left and right. But what's really impressive to me, he hasn't walked anyone either. He's just pounding the zone. His stuff is dirty today. Jacoby Jones the next to hit. As he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. So far, 0 for 1 with a fly out. Two and zero to the Tigers' left fielder. Now the two zero hit on the ground to short. Gonzalez is there. Throw just does beat him to the bag as that was pretty close. Now batting. The next batter, Jamer Candelario. And Dan, it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business. 
but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah, that remains to be seen. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. This is in the air to center. Does he have another one, two, three for the ledger? You bet he does. Make it 16 in a row. He set down now as the side is retired yet again. Down in order go the Tigers. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. Here's George Springer. He'll do battle with Francisco Liriano to get the inning underway. Center fielder, George. First pitch coming, here it is. A changeup that catches the corner for strike one. And it looks like a right-hander's got enough to throw in the Tiger bullpen. The windup and the 0-1. Now a swing and a fly ball. But this will land out there just foul. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. And a neck high fastball that time. Now a swing as he shoots this down the right field line. And that's a fair ball as it'll head for the 326 sign in right. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. As we look again at that double here, you can see that he was thinking too right out of the box. Smashed it down the line, and that was some great hustle to beat the throw to second to earn himself a double. Now here comes Ron Gardenhire up out of the dugout, and that's going to be all for Francisco Liriano. He'll wind up lasting just five innings here, didn't pitch all that poorly, yet he's gone nonetheless. Artie Lewicki takes over on the now mound here with nobody Tigers. out in the sixth inning. Number 57, Artie Lewicki. And that'll bring up the former first rounder, Alex Bregman. One ball, no strikes to count. Now the 1 0. Grounded foul. High in the air out to center field. Jones is there and he has it for the first down. The relay throw and the relay throw is right by him at third base. So that'll go into the books as an E6 and he'll be kicking himself over that one. Here's the second baseman Jose Altuve trying to make it a 2-0 ball game by bringing home that runner from third. First offering on its way. Now that ball's hit well, deep down the left field line, headed toward the foul pole. Up onto the train tracks, but it's a foul ball. That's a shame, it had plenty of distance. Dribbled up the line. That winds up foul for the second strike. Here it comes, 0-2. And, and a wasted pitch there, 1-2. and two. Definitely a strikeout situation here with the runner on third. So that's smart. Trying to make him chase that slider out of the zone. Springer stands at third with one gone in the inning. Two and two. Two and two. All right, no more hoping he's going to chase. 
it's two and two now. You've got to come up with the best pitch right here because this is definitely a strikeout situation. The 2-2. Two -two. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0-2 to work the count back to 3-2. And, and he's seen a lot of pitches too. And here's the 3-2 from him. A little bouncer. That goes foul, so he stays alive with two strikes. Bouncer to the left side. Throw to first, not in time as the run is across the score. And hey, that's great hustle right there out of the box. Not everybody's getting it right out of the shoot from step one, but I have to ask you, Dan, how frustrating executing a pitch and there's an infield knock. It is, D. Roy, and you can read that right off the bat as a pitcher. You can read the angle. You know that that ball is going to be hit on the ground, and you're thinking deep down inside, okay, there's a quick out, and it just wasn't meant to be. First pitch on its way. A ball and no strikes. And oh, looked like ball two below the knees, but it's ruled a strike, and that evens the count at one and one. Runner at first here, one man out. There goes Altuve. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. And indeed, he won't try to force it at second. He'll just flip on to first for the sure out. Now batter. Right fielder. Stepping in is Josh Reddick. He's working on a one for two game so far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Sliders in for a strike. Two out here and a runner at second. Fastball runs off the outside. It's one and one. That's not a bad pitch right there. That two-seamer moving away from a left-handed hitter. Didn't get the strike, but I like the idea behind the pitch. Now the one and one pitch. Misses low. Good take on the curveball there. That's He's fallen behind now. Three and one. You can bet he's salivating a little in the box right now. He likes to drive in runs, and he's got a great situation and count to do that right here. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Three-two pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Goodrum over to his right. And the inning is over. Astros forced to settle for only the one run. We're through six full. The Astros lead it two to nothing. Back here at Minute Maid Park in Houston. It's on to the seventh now with the Astros on top in this one. And as the final warm-up tosses are thrown, let's get a look at our game summary through six innings. Digging in once again, Nicholas Castellanos. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Now some action out in the Houston bullpen as it appears both a lefty and a right-hander are up to throw. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's 1 and 1. 
This is the big out to get right here. This is their best hitter. He's a great hitter, and he's a guy that kind of spark plug. He gets this team going. So if I'm on the mound right now, you really want to try to get this guy out to hopefully keep them from getting a potential big inning started. Lays off the slider that time, two and one. Hit hard down the right field line, but foul. I know it's a guessing game, but usually when you flip that coin, it better come up fastball at this level. You cannot be late right there. That was right in the wheelhouse. Struck him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. Pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate, but probably too good to take, and he's down on strikes for the second time. Yeah, that pitch was right on the black. Beautiful pitch. And even if we had robot umps, he'd still be out. But the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain about it. Here comes the first pitch. And the changeup is way low that time. Verlander starting to run up his pitch count. He's at 75 thus far. Inside, and he falls behind the hitter now, 2-0. and oh. 2-0 count, the pitch. Too high, and it's 3-0. and oh. Well, he was definitely looking fastball here, and he got one. But that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a 3-0 count. That one's in there, 3-1. and one. The 3-1. There's ball four. This is only their second base runner of the game after that earlier hit. Tough to score when you don't have anyone on base, so we'll see if they can get something going here. Ready for another shot now. John Hicks. No hits for him to this point, not unlike many of his fellow teammates. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Almost a worm burner as he misses on a low fastball. Ball one. One oh count. Here it is. Slider stayed too low. Ball two. We've seen him go down on strikes more than once in this game, so this has been a better approach by him at this at bat. Much more patient and he's gotten himself into a good hitter's count. The 2-0 on the way. And he goes the other way, but he got a lot of it deep down the line. And a big sigh of relief on the mound as that nearly tied it, but this ball is foul. Flares this one over toward first. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. I'll tell you what, D-Row, this guy's been on point after that knock. That's only their second knock of the game, and it's getting late into this one. Yeah, it's frustrating. You can see it from the manager to the hitting coach to everyone in this lineup. They are really upset with the way they've swung the bats. Maybe this is the start of something late. Here's the switch hitting Victor Martinez. He's a look at a changeup that drops below the knees for ball one. Oh, for two for him to this point. Here comes the 1-0. That's a tough take.
the one two line towards center field but sadly for him this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much trouble for the second out the left fielder number eight Mikey Montes. and that'll bring up Mikey Mata two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. And ooh, looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing in one. You see there the pitch count is up to 88. And at this point in the game, that's a good place to be. So I think we'll see him stay out there for at least a little while longer. Right over the top with that curveball. And it's 0-2. With runners on base, two outs and two strikes, this is a big next pitch for both sides. The 0-2 pitch. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. That's a great take right there. You knew the pitcher was going to try and expand the zone 0-2 in a big spot, and he was able to spit on that one, hopefully get something in the heart of the plate this pitch. The one two and he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate Goodrum over at second Hicks at first two out in the inning yeah. to two balls and two strikes now well all of the umpires in the seats thought that would strike three and they weren't far off but I think that was a good call look to be just a bit outside. Little late with the swing, but he stays alive. Still two and two. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. Tigers strand a pair. They're down two to nothing. Buck Farmer gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seven. Buck Farmer. Evan Gaddis now standing in. A hit in two tries so far. Designated hitter, Evan Gaddis. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Swing, and there it goes. Deep to left field. It's up and out of here into the archway. Solo home run for Evan Gaddis. And the Astros have taken a three to nothing lead. Wow, that's a tough one. Certainly not the way you want to start your day as a relief pitcher giving up a home run. Marwin Gonzalez now. Marwin. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Hey. There's a fastball right over the inside corner. No outs, nobody on. Swung on and missed. One and two now. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. He got ahead with two good fastballs and then tried to drop the changeup to see if he'd be out in front. Did a great job of laying off that pitch right there. Interested to see where he goes now. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Max Stassi will be next.
Now the payoff pitch home. And this is down at knee level as it's chopped foul at home plate. The 3 2 one more time. Line toward the alley in left center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Man, I don't think he could have bisected those fielders any better if he tried. Throw that one into the alley for a gapper that'll bring him easily into second base. Into the box, Max Stassi. And this one's in the dirt. The throw will go to third. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. That can be a tough read as a runner on second to see if the ball has gotten away enough to move to third. You have to be sure you can make it. He was there, and now he's only 90 feet away. The 1-0. He has looked at for the first strike. The runner in scoring position with none out. Line but speared on a hop. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile the runner is in to score. And here with the infield back, they were giving him the run on a ground ball, so he just takes advantage of that and drives the run home. Good approach. Stepping in now, the speedy Tony Kemp. 0 for 2 with a fly ball and a ground out on his line to this point. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Looks at a curveball on the outside corner. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Ready, here's the 0-2 pitch. And a neck-high fastball that time. But there's your textbook waste pitch right there. Try and get the eye level up. Let's see if he comes back with another fastball elevated or drops a hammer off. The 1-2. Hit back up the middle. And that's through for a hit. You don't see that too much in today's game. Most guys, it doesn't matter what the count is. They're looking to line them. Drive the ball out of the ballpark. Not the case here. Good two-strike adjustment. Able to punch a ground ball through a hole for a single. Into the box now. George Springer. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. And a swing as the bat goes flying toward the third base dugout, but it looks like everybody was able to duck for cover. 0 oh, 2 is a fastball that misses inside. 1 and 2 now. Kemp, base runner at first with one out. Sliced hard on the ground, and that's in for a base hit. He's 2 for 4 now. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. Sometimes you got to tip your cap. The pitcher spotted his pitch down the zone right there below the knee. Offensive player was all over it. Now at the plate, Alex Bregman. He flew out in his last at bat. And it looks as though the decision makers in the dugout will give him a free pass to first. So the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk. And the force play is now in order. Oh, that's a walk that could really change the complexion of the game. With the bases loaded, if he gives up a base hit right here, it could get real ugly. Digging in now, Jose Altuve is working on a one for three thus far. First pitch on its way. And they'll try and get him out in front to start the at bat, but this misses off the plate away. It's ball one. Bases are loaded here, one man out. And he 
falls behind now, 2-0. Putting himself in a pretty bad situation now on 2-0, and and the base is loaded. He basically doesn't have much of an option but to challenge him right here. Now the 2-0. Outside, 3-0 and now. Well, nothing can make you question yourself on that mound more than three straight balls to a guy you know that you should go right after. Sometimes you just lose the strike zone and you don't know why. 3 0 pitch on its way. On the ground, left side. That's a base hit. One run scores. The throw home. And not in time as the run scores. I mean, that had to feel good right there, Dan. That's his third RBI of the game and extends his team's lead. They might have this one locked up. Well, I tell you, those are always big, those add-on insurance runs. Big RBI right there for a little bit more breathing room. Now the Cuban import, Yuli Gurriel, fouled off. He's two for three and looking for more here. Now the 0-1. And a fastball just a bit high. Well, this inning pretty much has been one to forget for him, but he's still out there. And it's only going to get worse if he dwells on it and lets the frustration take over. Easier said than done, though. Four runs here in this half inning. Guriel behind a ball and two strikes. One and two. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. That strikeout was all about setting the hitter up with hard stuff. You can see the first three pitches are coming in fast, and then he slows it down on the fourth pitch, knowing the hitter is sort of conditioned for the hard stuff. Yet another way to upset a hitter's timing. Standing in now, Josh Reddick. He'll roll over it and send it to shortstop. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Nine men come to the plate, four score. Eighth inning coming up. The Astros on top, six to nothing. Ready once again, James McCann will start us off in the eighth. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Now the 1 0. Misses, ball two. That's a good take on that fastball there. You know he's looking for something up there to drive, but that was just a little above his happy zone. Not everyone has the discipline to hold back on those. Two and one to count. Looks at a fastball inside, so he's in the driver's seat, three and one. Great A-B so far. I'd really like to see this guy work a walk and get on base for this team. Maybe give them a shot of confidence that they got a shot to get back in this one. Full count now. Three-two pitch. And another foul ball. Thing has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Hit to third. Bregman gloves it. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Now batting, number 60. At the plate, number 60. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far.
Here comes the first pitch. Line towards center field. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. Don't sleep on the bottom of the order right there. He broke out all ambush tactics. First pitch fastball, middle in. He's able to drive that for a nice center. Stepping in now, Jacoby Jones. As he'll take a look at ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. The 1-0 is in there for strike one. And when a guy starts leaving the curveball up, that's a sign he's beginning to tire a little bit out there. He's got to be able to get on top of that pitch or he's going to start getting hurt. Runners on first with one down. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Well, that's not where he wanted that curveball. It kind of backed up and stayed in. That can be effective sometimes, but it usually doesn't have the same hard bite. Now a swing going. Look out over in the third base dugout as that thing nearly took out half the coaching staff. No offer on that one, and Verlander's run at full down, three and two. One of the things you want to do with a starter, get that pitch count up. Here's another productive at bat, as this count now gets to three balls and two strikes. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. In a double play situation, you kind of expect most pitches to be down in its zone, hoping for a ground ball. So that was an interesting pitch selection to go up in the zone. I think he caught him off guard a little bit. Into the box, Jimer Candelario batting left-handed here as he takes a look at strike one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Fastball called for strike two. He certainly hasn't been the aggressor in this at bat. Two straight takes, so now we'll see if he can change his approach and battle up. Verlander pauses, looking for the strikeout here on 0-2. And, and he's got another one here. 12 punch outs now in the ballgame, and that'll end the inning. One left for Detroit. They still find themselves down 6-zip. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Evan Gaddis. He'll see what he can do leading Evan off the home aid. Yeah, in his last at bat, he hit a changeup out for a home run, so it'll be interesting this A.B. to see if they give him a steady diet of fastballs. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. The wind-up and the 0-1. Almost a worm burner as he misses on a low fastball. Ball one. Back up the middle. Oh, got him. And I'm going to tell you, that is an incredible play. Marwin Gonzalez. Here's Marwin Gonzalez now. As he'll take a change up here for strike one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. A fastball down near the shoe tops. One out, nobody on. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Ball 
called strike that time and it's even a two and two. And a fastball blew it right by him and there are two down. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. Into the box now, Max Stassi. As he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Crowds him a bit with a fastball there, and it's to one and one. And now time is called as a beach ball has made its way out into left field here. Bases are empty here with two men out. lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time and it's back to even now at two and two he executed that one two curveball pretty well I think that's right where he wanted it to end up but he couldn't get him to chase at it we'll see what they go with now after that didn't work out here now the two two is looked at and the count moves full Tony Kemp would be next if they can keep this inning alive Now the three and two pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. So a good job for him there to bounce back after giving up four last time around. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Astros six and the Tigers nothing. Nick Castellanos now and at this point of the game I think it's clear that the plan of attack against the top of the order has worked well when you've only surrendered one hit to the top three guys in the order up to this point in the game you know you're doing something right Matt you're spot on whatever they discuss coming into this game has worked out beautifully first pitch on its way from Verlander Ninth inning begins as the first pitch is taken for ball one. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. That'll find its way out of play. Still going to have a good hitter's count. Two and one now. The two one home. This is in the air out to right. Reddick has a read on it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now batting. Second base. Digging in to try it again. Nico Goodrum. He doubled earlier in the game. One for two to this point. First pitch on its way. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. And that one just missed outside. Hit hard to short. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Love the ability to push that ball the other way right there. Nice knock to the opposite field. That's a switch hitter's delight. The ability to use all parts. Here comes the Astros skipper up out of the Houston dugout. And it would appear that that's going to be the end of the afternoon for Justin Verlander. 
So a strong performance here as he worked his way into the ninth, but it left the bullpen try and close with the final two outs. Will Harris answers the call from the dugout as he'll try to record the final two outs of this one. Will Harris. Digging into the batter's box next is John Hicks. As he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. Now the 0-1. And there's ball one. Big breaking ball and a beauty that time. One and two. Can't say he's tickling around the zone. Those last two pitches were pretty much grooved right down the middle, but it didn't bite him. Goodrum stands at first with one out. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. Here's the switch hitting Victor Martinez. Taken high and deep to right. Back goes Reddick. Still going back. Gone! A two-run shot for Victor Martinez. As the lead is cut to four, it's six to two now. Everybody has heard of a hitter punishing a curve or a slider that just hangs. Well, this was a cutter. It just hangs right there out over the heart of the plate, and he didn't miss it. Can't leave a pitch like that to a professional hitter. Well, you can, but that's what you get. And that'll bring up Mikey Mato. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Smoked on the ground up the middle. Throw on to first, and the ball game is over. It's always nice to give your fans at home something to cheer about, and they definitely did that right here, coming through with a big win at home. 6-2, to two, the final total today. The Houston Astros put up four runs in the seventh to carry them to victory. Justin Verlander gets the W on the mound, so that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Mark DeRosa and Dan Flezak and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. To find out more, head over to theshownation.com.